Welcome to Statistics in Excel video number 22. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, go to my college website and you can download the workbook Business 210 Chapter 2. Hey, in this one, we're going to talk about cumulative frequency. Just uh, We just got um, done creating a frequency distribution. Boomerangs purchased, and we did it by age. We grouped the age categories, and it took us a couple videos to figure out how to group and do all that, but now we have our categories by age. We counted them. We did our relative and percent frequency. Now we want to do cumulative. Now, why in the world would you want to do cumulative? That means we're adding. So when we get to this cell right here, it will add 38 and uh, uh, 13. And when you get all the way down to the last one, it'll be 200. The reason why you want to do cumulative because then you can say things like this many people, uh, uh, no, for the, the group 50 and less, they bought that many boomerangs. And a chart will, called an ogive will be particularly useful also. I'm going to scroll over here. Cumulative frequency. I'm going to highlight this whole range right here. And in the cell at the top, I'm going to create my formula. Now, how, what do we have to do to add cumulative? We, here we want 13, but here we want to add 38 and 13. If there was some way to create a sum function that would expand as we copied it down. In fact, this formula I'm going to build just in this top cell here, and then we'll drag it down to emphasize it. As we drag it down, the range is expanding. I'm going to say equals SUM, open parentheses. Click on one, two, three cells to my left, and then shift colon. What does that do? It puts P33 to P33. That doesn't make any sense. But if you double click this first cell reference here and hit the F4 key, what you've done is you've locked one, but not the other. I'm going to click on the end, close parentheses. That will be our amazing formula that will expand as we go down. That little blue box right there, as we copy this formula down, will magically expand. Control Enter, and then I'm going to, I can't double click because it'll go all the way down there, and that won't make any sense. I'm going to click, and when I see, there's my fill handle, and when I see my angry rabbit right there, I can click and drag. Sure enough, when I click, let's just pick this cell and hit F2. F2 is edit mode. No way, it expanded as it went down. Because this was locked up on P33, but this was a move allowed to move relatively. Escape. Now let's do percentage cumulative frequency. Highlight the whole range here. And in the top cell right here, I'm going to say equals one cell to my left, divided by what's the total? 200 right there and hit F4 to lock it. That formula will work all the way down. It's all the way to the bottom. Control and let's look at an example here. So for here, this category right here, uh, you can see the formula worked. It's dividing 147 by 200. But what does that mean? 73%. It means um, everyone. Uh, up to but not including 50, that represented 73% of the sales. Now let's go ahead and create a uh, histogram and we'll use this data here to create an ogive and we'll see how visually it provides great information. I'm going to highlight um, this right here. So it's got the labels and labels are always show up either the x variable when you're doing two variables or uh, single variables like this. Always the first column will represent the horizontal axis. This will represent the uh, vertical axis. Now watch this. I'm going to hold Control because I'm going to include this too. And I'm going to include the label and click and drag all the way to 100%. So now I have one label and one and two series of data. Now I'm going to go up to Insert chart and column, but I'm not going to do that because there's a keyboard shortcut. If your chart default chart is column, there's a keyboard shortcut, Alt F1. Now, it looks kind of funny here, and it is for the moment. I'm going to click on this and hit Delete. And uh, it's looking funny because it doesn't make any sense because this second data series, they're so small. Oh, yeah, these are all the percentages right here. But watch this. I'm going to click. We saw this earlier when we did our uh, Pietro chart. Um, I'm highlighting that. And you click on one of them. In fact, let me make this a little bit bigger here. I'm going to click on the corner and drag it like this. 
Now I'm going to highlight that uh, data series right there. And Control-1 opens the Format Data Series. Uh, and you can right click and go to Format Data Series, but it's second axis we want. And instantly close, it goes to the second axis. Oh, and look at that, it puts percentages. But now with the column still highlighted, very carefully point to one of the um, columns because if you right click somewhere else, it won't work. You've got to, if you're highlighting the columns, the right click rule is right click the thing. And since we want to do something to the columns, right click the columns, right click, change series chart type, and then change it to line that one right there, and click OK. No way. That is awesome. That's the ogive based on the cumulative. And we can say for any uh, group here, we could say 80% right there. Come down here, and so th it's this category, 60. So all of the people up to but not including 60 years old represented 80% of the sales. You can also do an ogive this way if you go from here up. So 45 is the max here, 45, and then come over here. So maybe 75%. Uh, so 75% of the boomerangs were from uh, 45 years or uh, younger. Now, we would need to do a couple of more things here. we got to really make this chart better. Let's click on these columns, and then I'm going to Control-1. You could right-click Format Data Series, but Control-1, just like Format Cells, that Control-1 keyboard shortcut works with charts, too. We want to remove the gap, because this is a histogram. Remove the gap. Let's see what border colors, uh, fill. No, it doesn't give us that option. Let's click Close. Oh, actually, Control-1, we did want to do something. We wanted border color. That's the border for the column here. And let's say solid and black, because it really doesn't look very good. Wow the way it is right now. So we're border color black. Now if I click over here somewhere, you can see, ah, that's much better. Now let's right click this and say add data labels. Oh, there's our 38, our 35. Let's right click this and say add data labels. Oh, now that's really cool. Um, we still need to do a few more things. And you guys are going to, this isn't going to be so squished up here. Uh, again, on my screen is pretty small. On your screen, you can make it much bigger. Or you can place it as a separate sheet and print it out, and they'll print out just fine. We need to add some uh, labels here. Now, I want to uh, highlight the chart, go up to the Chart Tools Context Sensitive Ribbon, and in Layout, I want to say Chart Title Above Chart. And I want to type. I'm going to highlight that whole uh, word chart title, and I'm going to type frequency. Hopefully, I'm spelling it right. Frequency. No, no, no. Frequency of boomerang purchases by age. By age, I'm going to make that big B there too, so they're all. Oh, and that a big O too. Click somewhere else, and now I don't want to add some labels here. I want a frequency label here, so I'm going to go back up to layout and uh, access uh, titles. I'm going to say primary vertical. That's this one right here. And when it's highlighted, when you first insert it, you can just start typing. And you can see up in the formula bar that it's it immediately starts typing. I'm going to put frequency there. And then I'm going to go up to uh, Layout, Access, Titles, and um, Primary Horizontal. And I'm going to click down here, Title Below Access. And I'm going to type Age, Enter. Ooh, that is pretty spectacular chart. We have our labels, which are very important. We have our data points. That's kind of messy there. I'm going to click once and then hit Delete. Uh, we have our ogive here, which we can uh, match up any particular percentage. And remember, the ogive is less than whatever the upper limit for the class. All right, so that's how to do uh, for quantitative data, frequency distribution, histogram, uh, cumulative frequency, and an O. Oh, yeah, one last thing. Let's uh, move this down here. I have little notes here. If you point to there, it says, uh, what patterns do we observe? What pattern? And I have little notes about the things we talked about and the cumulative frequency right there. Not only that, but if you drag this one down here, there's a little uh, note about uh, 
the histogram and the ogi because this is a, a visual portrayal that gets the information across much more quickly than actually looking at the frequency distribution itself. All right, see you next video.